it's time to get back to our letter. All right, a lot has been happening on the show that's been keeping me from doing this. Uh, first of all, we had those fresh peppers, which I wanted to eat while they were fresh, and he can prevents me from talking. And, of course, last show we had a guest with... Uh, with Chef Jay, and uh, whenever I get a chance to get a guest on the show, I uh, take advantage of that because I know people's time is precious. So I'm very thankful to the Lord that I have uh, people that want to be on my show. And once when we have that happen, uh, it kind of takes a bit of a priority. All right, but we're going to get back to our letter now. Okay, when we last left, uh, we were talking about human sacrifice in the Bible. Oh, excuse me, get some gas. Uh, the, uh, 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 the, 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 the young lady who wrote this, uh, again, uh, saying that, uh, somehow God is condoning human sacrifice. Last show we found out through his, uh, discussion with Moses, he does not condone human sacrifice, but condemns it. And again, reiterated several times in his word to the prophet Jeremiah. So we looked at that last, uh, last episode and how, uh, Human sacrifice was actually a tenant of the other pagan tribes surrounding the Israelites and was uh, condoned by them. But uh, God uh, made his people separate and uh, human sacrifice was actually condemned. So uh, today we're just going to quick look at one of the incidents uh, that is kind of... Uh, uh, that, that deals directly with human sacrifice in the Old Testament. So we have, uh, kind of in the Old Testament, it's kind of, we have this sense of, of, of uh, ritual uh, human sacrifice uh, coupled with religious uh, ceremonies uh, of sort, okay, which uh, these other pagan tribes did practice. Uh, and uh, then in the New Testament, we're gonna, there, there's another type of sacrifice, which was a martyrdom or even the death of our Lord Jesus. So uh, we're going to get to that uh, in future installments. But today we're going to talk about one of the judges, okay, and the, who the judges were. Uh, they were, uh, they were kind of like heroes that were appointed by God to fulfill, uh, to fulfill uh, certain missions. There was no king in those days. Uh, Israel was obedient, obedient to God, so God was sort of like their king, and God would appoint uh, brave men and women to judge Israel, and usually had to do with uh, warrior uh, um, aspects, and fighting wars, and keeping Israel protected from invaders. Okay, and one of these judges, again, I'm not a, a great at pronoun pronouncing Hebrew names, I believe it's Jephthah, would be the, the pronunciation. Uh, now, Jephthah, again, uh, uh, made an oath to the Lord, okay? Jephthah was, a, was an Isra Israeli judge, uh, Israelite judge. Uh, he, uh, uh, he made a vow to God that if God would give him victory in battle, he would sacrifice the first thing that came out of his door, Okay? Now, uh, he did this on impulse, and a uh, rather foolish thing to do. Now, we must keep in mind that back in these days, uh, people were obedient to God. It isn't like it is today. Uh, you know, there's lots of different, uh, different mindsets and, and, and theories on just who God is and all the, the, stuff, the liberalism we face today, I guess, is the best way to put it. Okay, so back then, an oath to God was a serious thing because... Uh, people of Israel were obedient to God, and he was their ruler, and they took it seriously, okay? So, uh, um, the first thing that happened to walk out of Jephthah's door, unfortunately, was his daughter, all right? So, he had made this vow that he had taken seriously and had made it foolishly, okay? So, this wasn't something that God desired, but was a, uh, a foolish a foolish vow on the be behalf of Jephthah. Now later in the New Testament, uh, Jesus Christ will st again warn us against making foolish vows, okay? that Because uh, we may not be able to keep them, and even if we keep them, we not, might not like the results of uh, what we have vowed and realize that the human mind is sinful and impulsive. All right, now uh, Jephthah's 
uh, sacrifice of his daughter. Okay, there's some controversy surrounding this too. It's a, it's a probable thing that this man did go through with this. Okay. Uh, however, there are other schools of thought. Okay, uh, based solely on the comment by the daughter made around the time of, of this that now she will never marry. Okay, kind of an odd thing to say when you're looking at losing your life. So, uh, some people uh, uh, believe that Jephthah gave her up to uh, to the priesthood uh, and, uh, and, and, and instead of actually sacrificing her. So it is kind of a gray matter, but there is a chance that due to a foolish vow, a human sacrifice did occur in, uh, in uh, the nation of Israel. Uh, during the time of the judges. However, uh, this was not condoned by God and uh, was cited as a foolish vow. So there's one instance of human sacrifice, again, condemned and not condoned uh, by, by the Lord. And uh, um, we're going to come back next show and look at another important uh, uh, incident of well, kind of, of human sacrifice, and that was Abraham and Isaac. And that's going to take some time, and that's going to lead us directly into Jesus Christ, because there are parallels between uh, the, sac the almost sacrifice of Isaac and the true sacrifice of God's Son, Jesus Christ. So we're going to come back and talk about that one next show. And uh, we're going to be back in 8 to 10 with uh, Dad's peach jalapeno sauce. So hang in there. All right. All right. Hey, we're back with Dad's peach jalapeno sauce. All right. Can you dig it? All right. Yeah. Hey, Pear Blossom Farms. Yeah. Out of, uh, I think, Palisades, Colorado. Uh, again, an artisanal farm sauce. Again, really good stuff. And a wonderful break for me. Okay, again, kind of on the tongue. Uh, it's kind of left with a, I don't know, maybe a little fruity note, a little sweet note hanging in my mouth right now. Uh, the burn has definitely subsided, and uh, yeah, just kind of a, almost like a little sugary hit on the tongue. Uh, a little fruitiness left, and maybe. Maybe a slight hint of a little tang lingering over my tongue and the inner cheeks. And uh, yes, a, uh, a good sauce, Dad's peach jalapeno sauce is. And uh, wow, what a laid back, kind of relaxing panel today. And every once in a while, I need one of those. All right, so uh, uh, again, um, uh, Read your Bibles and pray, and we're going to be looking at Isaac and Abraham next show, so you want to be there for that, because that is definitely a uh, definitely an interesting and inspiring story in the Bible. Okay, again, Old Testament. So, uh, till I see you then, uh, enjoy your day, enjoy your week, and God bless. Yeah. <laughs>